Hey everybody, it's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming, coming at, at you. you. And we're so glad that you're here. Merry Christmas. And um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we just um, pray that you guys are blessed by what the Lord has to share um, today. We are going to be going over Act 1, Scene 36. Um, of the Dang. restoration play C36. that the Lord has us in. Somebody out there said, I wonder if you guys are going to end up having 40 scenes. Before the end of and Act 1. And then Act 2 begins and there's going to be this big, huge thing. I'm like, I'd like at it to happen point, before that. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> at knows? this point, we're, we're looking at it. Because <laughs> the Lord has not transitioned us into Act 2. No. You know, it's just like, wow, Lord, this is going way longer than I thought. Hmm. hmm that sounds, must be the Lord. That sounds familiar. <laughs> it's God. <laughs> um, so welcome yes. to the channel. Yes, welcome to the channel. <laughs> and as always, um, we want to give a huge thank you to everyone who continues to support us and what we're doing. And yeah. so, again, huge, huge thank you to all of you. And if you would like to give to us, we are support-based, and we have a PayPal link below, and you can just click that. And, um, Let's just hug every one of you. Yes. I'm yeah, seriously, man. We give all the praise and glory to God. I know mm -hmm. that gets said a lot in our world as believers and even by the way believers, you know, mm -hmm. but it, even, even for believers, they can get lost, mm -hmm. but it really is a praise and glory to God for everything he does and works in our life, you know? Yeah. Cause it's just, it's truly it's amazing. amazing. It's amazing. You know? Have you guys noticed our uh, filming schedule has been like once a week for like a month now? <laughs> it's like we're just doing our act one scene, whatever. It's like that's because that's where God has had us. Yeah. You know, we've had our we had our excitement training on the party bus, our unexcitement training on the party bus, which got a an, an unexciting amount of views, by the way. It was prophetic. But <laughs> But now I feel like this past week that we've just lived through has been like a just a deeper, deeper level of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Just going through a lot of just living and believing. And there's been a couple moments of, of exposure, the triple four moments of exposure and bringing things out to deal with some stuff. But not really. It mm -hmm. hasn't been like the primary focus. It's just been yeah. like living, you know, living mm -hmm. in it, you know, mm -hmm. living the life. You know, but um, I was thinking maybe we could talk about the dress rehearsal yeah. thing and how that was just, we've been going through dress rehearsal. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So this week we've been talking about, um, well, we really felt like the Lord kind of showed us, he's like, you guys have been in this time of dress rehearsal, yeah. um, especially with the excitement training, the unexcitement training. And really at the end of that, um, which was basically like Tuesday or so of this last week, um, we, the Lord was really showing us. He's like, I was taking you through kind of a dress rehearsal, you know, just kind of, of like you coming. do um, before a wedding. You have, hey, you have the dress rehearsal, and then the next day is, you know, the the big, you know, you're getting ready for the wedding. And I feel like preparing from, you for the real thing that's yeah, getting ready to happen. Exactly. I just which, wanted to say it again. <laughs> <laughs> and so I think what the Lord was doing there is like, I want you guys to be prepared for when there is great excitement because mm -hmm. there will be, but I also want you to be prepared for those times when it doesn't feel exciting, but, and you're not, you're just like, okay, are we still, what are we doing? You know? And it's like, I want you to be strong and to mm -hmm. be able to just continue to go forward yeah. in my word, even when you're not feeling the same excitement and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then um, I really feel like this this last week, um, our Act 1, Scene 36, has really been about just kind of the Lord um, preparing us. I know um, He's always preparing and strengthening and directing our hearts, and we talk about how the Lord prepares us over and over again because the truth is He always is. It's like He's in a continual time of just preparing um for what he's going to be doing next um, jesus was getting prepared for 30 years mm -hmm. and he was the sinless blameless son of god 
how much preparation do you think you need? Yeah. <laughs> you, you know yeah. What I'm and, like, but I really <laughs> felt like, you know, the Lord's like, hey, here's the dress rehearsal to prepare you for the real thing. But I feel mm-hmm. like once um, the Lord revealed that to us, we've kind of entered into a time of like the Lord's like, no, I'm actually getting you ready now for the wedding, for mm-hmm. the feast, for the of what I'm going to be doing with you. And so, um, so it's kind of, it very much is, it's like, we had a lot of pictures with the, the weddings and things like that. We talked about yet with our kids of just like, you know, when you're talking about a wedding, this past week, is that yeah, yeah. yeah, so many parts that go into it yeah. and, um, and just like how, you know, some things you can't do until the very end. And then, mm-hmm. or it's like, okay, you've, done all the planning you can okay now's the time we can you know you might have planned out all of your flowers and the kinds of flowers you want but the florist isn't going to put those together until right before the wedding because otherwise so much of it is time sensitive it is you know and but it doesn't but it's like it's been prepared beforehand and i really Mm -hmm. feel like what the lord's done is he's like there are so many things that i have been preparing in you for the time that for the time really of the wedding for the day of and now it's like okay i gotta bring this out and let's bring this out let's let's get all of these things out and so it's like lord what what's going on i thought we were doing i thought we were doing this thing right but now you got me out here digging holes in the dirt what what is going on well we need these holes for the fireworks oh yeah, but we can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You got to dig, you know, about like, you know, uh, 12 inches in and, you know, you space them out about six inches apart. And you just, we need a row of those. And, you know, God's always at work. Jesus mm-hmm. said the father's always at work. And it's just like when you, when, the, when you're doing something by faith and you don't understand why the questions come, mm-hmm. but then the Lord speaks and shares when he decides to do that. Cause he doesn't always do that. But um, when he decides to share it, then you go, oh, okay. Then you're happy to just go along with, yeah. <laughs> with it. Before, you were going along with it, but you weren't as happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So. And so I just feel like really in in this last week, it's just been like the Lord's kind of like, I'm bringing some of these things out that like we haven't talked about for a long time. Um, mm, yeah. We just had... Um, we, actually, we even had like a, a prophetic number that, you know, number 47 that the Lord had literally started like January 1st of this year. The Lord uh, marked it with uh, 47 and we read Psalm 47, Ezekiel 47 and Joshua 4-7. Joshua 4-7 and, um, and it has a lot to do with, well, um, praising and celebrating, um, but also just the river. Um, and Zechariah like how the, 4-7. Yeah, the river Human of obstacles. life. Yeah. And so all of these things, and the Lord just brought that right back out. And he's like, hey, remember this. Because it was literally on on January 1st of this year, it was a highlighted number like crazy. And the Lord was just like, hey, I'm marking this. And then here again, the Lord brought this mm-hmm. out. And it was like, hey, remember this? Like, go back through. And I, I literally went back through my journals. And I was like, oh, look, remember, we had this. And it, it yeah. was a significant moment um, in time. And so the Lord brought brought that back out. Um, Mm -hmm. He again brought out for us just talking about some of the education and really for me personally, just kind of just this finalized like moment for my heart on just what the Lord wants, um, like the direction that he has for us um, in education and um, as far as concerning our children and how he wants to direct it. And And there was just a sense of like, that's it. Yeah. That's the moment. (laughs) This is how, this is the Lord's way of approaching this. Yeah. After tearing down all the man's Mm -hmm. way, here's the Lord's way of doing it. Yeah. You know, and it's just, it was was awesome. It was really awesome. awesome. And just like brought some, just freedom for my own heart and things like that. And, and, but it was just like, wow, we haven't really talked about this for a long time. And, Mm -hmm. and so there were just all these little pieces that the Lord was just like bringing out, but it was, I don't know. It was like, he brought it out. We talked about it and it's like, okay, let's go on. We (laughs) brought something else out. Let's 
okay, remember yeah. this. Or, and so it was just interesting. And I just feel, though, that there is just this sense that the Lord is like, I'm bringing all these things out because it's really, this is the time. Like, I'm fully readying you. Like, all right, this is the time to bring out these pieces because it's going to all come together. And, um, you know, and I was just reminded again of this picture of the tapestry. Well, it's like, Lord, is this the, is this the, the now time or just a prophetic time? Is this the, 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 the time time? Yeah. Or is this just one of those times yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where you're telling me about a time that's going to be a time later on in time? Yeah. What time is it? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of well, time are we well, talking about? Well, that was the thing, though. This, this, time. this week, <laughs> we heard a lot of it's time. <laughs> Oh we my did. gosh. It was huge. Mm, you gonna open up that can? Not yet. Keep on going. But <laughs> <laughs> but I just had again the reminder of the tapestry that the mm, Lord is mm-hmm. just weaving together. Yeah. And and that sense of this tapestry, it's circular. It's mm, you know, yeah, and so we got that he's this week, he's been going week. from the outside working, working in and as he in, comes yeah. in, it's like all of these things come mm-hmm. together to bring a complete completion to the picture that he's making and um and Mm -hmm. i just feel like again this week that god just like hey remember this this you know these threads and these you know Mm -hmm. that are he's bringing together and how it's gonna all come um as one and so and he's the weaver he is (laughs) and so he's the weaver we're the bee weavers (laughs) (laughs) that's a dad joke right there i guess so (laughs) I'm just a believer. <laughs> oh, I get it now. You just got it. I thought you were talking about like beavers or like bee weavers. No, we're, I get we're it. believers, believers. Uh, I, I got if it. you have to explain the joke, it's not funny. It's, okay? It's pretty funny. <laughs> Wait, can I share something real quick? Yes. You can keep going. Because yeah, I was asking the Lord, we would, man, I tell you what. With the 47s, we were getting them like, do we, we got them like 25 times in like an hour. It, 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 that's that was unheard of. We've never mm-hmm. gotten that before. You know, usually you get a prophetic number, you get it anywhere from like three to maybe seven times in one day. We got this number like twenty five times, like one hour. It was like boom, 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 boom. It was like machine gun fire, you know. And then it was like yeah. And then the Lord wouldn't let us talk about it in a God time or nothing like that. And I'm going, well, this is unusual. Like, why can't we talk about it? And then some other prophetic thing would happen. Mm -hmm. And I was like, whoa, this is exciting. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. On the shelf. And I was like, I'm like, Lord, why does this keep happening? All week, right? Mm -hmm. I was like, why does this keep happening? And then the Lord showed me what I think was like a pizza or something. And uh, it might not have been a pizza. But what he showed me was this, he he had this this, um, bottle in his hand. Um, and it was kind of like what you, uh, what Parmesan cheese comes in, the, the, the grated kind that you shake on the things. Um, but it was actually full. It wasn't full of Parmesan cheese. It was full of this red dust. Mm-hmm. And he was just like, you know, and it was, it was just raining all this mm-hmm. red dust on whatever he was doing. And that's literally it. That was the only mm-hmm. picture I got. And I just, what I got from that was just like, the Lord was like, I'm cooking something up. Mm-hmm. I can't. It's not time to really, you will taste all of what I'm doing Mm -hmm. in the final thing that I'm baking. Mm -hmm. You don't need, we don't need to go over every individual thing. Because you said, remember that time you were saying, what did you say? You said like, well, maybe the Lord just wants you to know that it's Mm -hmm. there. He doesn't want to get into it like we normally do because he's doing something different. Yeah. You know, and that's totally what it was. Mm -hmm. Because there were so many prophetic things that happened this past week um, with God telling us we're going in a new direction with the 47s and all that mm-hmm. they meant and what were some other things there were well, some we had there like were quite the, a few it's time and we it's had, time i know i was like whoa yeah. okay and and just uh there was the packet like oh, there was prophetic dreams yeah oh yeah dreams about graduating or or, mm-hmm. or being a senior you know mm-hmm. what i mean and you know getting a big payday you know, stuff like that. You know, you probably don't want me to share that part, but I said it. And I'm not editing it out. <laughs> so there were just lots of things. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. Let's talk about that. No, let's move on. It's just like, that was like, it was like, whoa, this is all super major exciting mm-hmm. stuff. And it's just like, he's just shaking it out and he's putting it. Because, you know, when you're cooking, you put something in there and you put it away and you're focused on the big thing you're doing. Mm-hmm. 
But I'm like, no, no, let's talk about the red dust thing. It's like, no, you'll yes. get, we can talk about it later when we're sitting down and we're eating. Yeah. You know? Oh, that was another thing. Yeah. The, the, the turkey yeah. thing, but I might be jumping ahead. That's all I wanted to share. <laughs> but just the Lord's focused on the big thing. Yeah, he really is. And sometimes it's just enough to know that, like, whatever God's speaking in your life, that thing, he wants you to know that it's there. Exactly. And then he's like, okay, now let's move on because there's, there's, like, ten other spices. I kept getting the number 500. I haven't got the number 500 since... Since probably since June. June. Yeah, at the end of June. Going into we July. Getting, yeah. I was getting that 500. I was like, oh, that means spices. And during this time of this vision that he was giving, I think it was actually the same day mm-hmm. or maybe the next day, I was getting that number 500. I got it twice and it really jumped out at me. And I was like, it's the spices. That's the Lord saying like, yes, this is the spices. I'm spicing you up right now. I'm like, wow, you're cooking more? This is amazing. What are you cooking? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Can well, I have some? Can yeah. I get a little taste yeah he's like that's what i'm giving you that's why i'm showing you all these things that is your taste you know? exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah and he is cooking up something he's cooking up a feast for his people mm-hmm. and um that really just even today you know i was kind of reviewing through all our notes and and truly there is just so much like we literally had a couple of times just this week where we're like lord do you want us to make a video just because of and proclaim what he was showing us and it was just Lord, stuff know, about the so... nation, the election, all the stuff that's going on there. Yeah. It was amazing stuff. Yeah, you know? and but it was just very clear that the Lord was, was just like, like no, nope. I have you in <laughs> a time. You know, there are moments with the Lord. There are times when the Lord is just like, yes, you could share that, but I want you to just continue, allow me to continue the process that I have you in. The party and, bus. And there is just a process that the Lord is doing in our life that he's just like, okay, yeah, that's great, but I'm going to add to it. Because sometimes you receive something from the Lord. It's so exciting. You want to share it, but the Mm -hmm. Lord's like, I actually have more that I want to add. You don't even have the fullness of what I'm speaking. That was just a slab of meat on the cutting board. That's all that was. Yeah, I still, I haven't done anything. We got a lot to do here. (laughs) (laughs) And so, um, So, yeah, there was just literally a few times this week that I'm just like, oh, we so need to do a video. And then it was just like, no, the spirit of the Lord. Look at this slab of meat. It's It's amazing. amazing. (laughs) It's like, well, what are you going to do with that meat? Uh, I don't know, but it's awesome. Maybe we're just we should have got that information <laughs> before we did the video. <laughs> no, but God is so good. It's been so amazing. I love how, for us personally, how he's just been leading us in when we share videos, um, when we don't. It's been such an amazing process. we've only been doing process. once a week. I'm like, wow, Lord, you really do, do have us on this you know, I don't want you to focus on ministry right now. I want you to be on the bus with me, mm-hmm. with your family. We're going a different direction. We're going to, mm-hmm. and it's just like, okay, cool. That's yeah. what we'll do. Yeah. We're in it for you. So God bless you. God. <laughs> but it's just been, it's just been really awesome to see how the Lord, he just, he can train you in what, mm-hmm. um, in listening to his spirit and, um, just allowing him to share what he wants to share. Yeah. And so we've been just getting a ton of encouragement um, this week as well with the Lord. And one of the scriptures that I just loved was um, we were reading in Luke chapter 12. And it's uh, basically we read verses 35 through I think 38. Or I don't remember. 39. I don't know. <laughs> but oh, I think it was through 40. Oh, through 40. There we go. That's it. It was through but, 40. Um, You're right. But it was basically 40. about the Lord just, you know, like um, talking about continuing on, continuing to just do what you do, continue to just, you know, be, you know, he's talking about here, it said, um, you know, this master goes away. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's actually... Um, you want me to read it? Yeah, why don't you read it? Let me just read it. Sounds good. <laughs> Where do you want me to start from? Um, maybe just first. First, th- just 35. what we just read. read. Okay. Yeah. Um, keep your loins girded and your lamps burning. That's a video right there. And be like men who are waiting for their master to return home from the marriage feast, so that when he returns from the wedding and comes and knocks, they may open to him immediately. Blessed 
are, or blessed, however you say it, are those servants whom the master finds awake and alert and watching when he comes. Truly, I say to you, verily, verily, I say unto you, <laughs> he will gird himself and have them recline at table and will come and serve them, exclamation mm -hmm. point. Um, you want to keep going? No, we can stop you there. Stop there, that's right? Kind yeah. of where um, that was the gist of where yeah, you were. Yeah, where I was headed. Yeah. But basically, <laughs> I just loved it because he's talking about continue to just wait for the Lord, continue to just press on in what He has you doing in this time. And um, well, the reason can I say mm -hmm. the reason I got I I was the Lord spoke that to me, and He said, "This is what I want you to do. I want you to be found doing." That's what's going to happen. I'm going to show up and I'm going to do the word and the promise. I'm going to be faithful and true. I'm going to be true to my word. My word's going to be sent. It's not going to return void. All my part is going to be done. I will do exceedingly abundantly beyond all that you dare ask or think, infinitely beyond your highest prayers and dreams. That's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But I want to come and find you doing your part. Yeah. You know, it's not that the Lord's not here. It's just when the manifestation of his presence and his promise arrives, he wants us to He wants us to be found just doing what we're supposed to do. He doesn't want us to be found in a corner weeping and crying and boo-hooing about what's not happening. He doesn't want us to be found lazing around. You know, he doesn't want, he wants us to be found because that's a faithful heart. That's a believing heart. That's a ready heart. You know, in Matthew 25, all of them fell asleep. Mm -hmm. All the virgins fell asleep. All the virgins <laughs> 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 fell asleep. But when they heard the word, now listen, they heard the sound of the coming of the master. All of them heard it, but only five were ready to receive it. Only mm -hmm. five were ready to go in. Only five were believing and full of faith. Only five had the, their hearts burning with a passion and a desire and a faith for the Lord to fulfill his promise. They are the ones who went in, mm -hmm. you know? And so I was just like, because, you know, it can get discouraging, you know? Everybody knows this who's, a, who's walked with the Lord, past, present, and future. It can get discouraging because time frame and spiritual warfare, relational issues, whatever, it can weigh you down, mm -hmm. you know? But the Lord's like, don't let any of that stuff distract you from the track I have you on, mm -hmm. you know? And it's like, okay, the track that I'm on, Lord, is your heart. What are you speaking today? Is that it? Okay, well, that's where I'm going. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm not worshiping the promise or I have a promise set up as an idol and I'm waiting for that thing. It's like, no, I am waiting for that thing and it is difficult to wait for that thing. And my heart, I was telling the Lord last night, I was like, Lord, I am weighed down with waiting. And I'm just like, I feel like I, we've gone through this like so many times. And I'm just like, uh, you know what I mean? And I'm just pouring out my heart to you. And then I pick up this note where, where it was like, where that thing that you said, where it's like our poured out hearts and prayers are like, mm -hmm. are like the alabaster oil on the feet of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And right away I was just like, oh, I mean, I'm encouraged. <laughs> I'm not weeping and moaning and boohooing. I'm just sharing my heart with you. And I'm like, man, it is really, really difficult. Like, I feel like some days I am going to just like, I don't even know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, I'm so weighed down and heavy sometimes. I'm just like, I feel like I'm going to crack under the pressure. I'm going to die. You know what I'm saying? I was like, is this what it was like when you were talking to your disciples before you went to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray? Because, man, it is for real. And I'm sure I only got a little Costco sample of it compared mm -hmm. to what you had. But, man, it, I'm just telling you from my own perspective, man, Lord, this is this is this can be hard. The waiting, mm -hmm. you know, the expectation and the hope and the waiting for you and you know, just not showing up. Yeah. You know, and then and the Lord was like, oh. Thank you for that oil on my feet. It sure mm -hmm. does feel good. And, and right then, I'm like, well, now I don't feel so bad. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I can continue. Mm -hmm. So, you know, continue. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I just think that, um, but that is just, I love that picture. Actually, it was so interesting last night to 
we were praying and again it's literally exactly a week ago from yesterday mm -hmm. um, which was Sunday I had the exact basically almost the exact same identical vision of just the breaking of the oil mm -hmm. and I knew that it was the the alabaster box like the the costly perfume and a heart and it was just yeah. like I knew again like it was being broken and that oil was being put on Jesus's feet and it happened twice both times um during prayer and I just really felt like mm -hmm. it was just like you know when you're pouring out your heart it really is this costly perfume that you're anointing the feet of Jesus with and um, you don't even realize it at the time yeah. you're doing it. And it's mm -hmm. like he he had to tell me, he had to remind me, like that's what you just did. And I'm like, oh man, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. I thought I was kind of being whiny and kind of complaining. You know, <laughs> he's like, no, nope, no, nope. yeah. see it the way I see it. And it's like, wow, you God know, just is so like, good. Like with Hannah, mm -hmm. you know, when she went before the Lord, there was a costly perfume she was pouring wow. at his feet. Girl, you preach. And and so <laughs> it's just. <laughs> So it's like so many of us, those that, you know, you're, you're just, your life and your heart is for the Lord. Mm. And there is, it is a costly perfume that our lives are before the Lord. And yeah. every time you just continue to go before him, you're just pouring your heart out upon his feet. And yeah. just as he poured out his heart upon us. And yeah. Um, yeah, so that's a little side note. That's a total side note, but it kind but of it fits, weaves back it really in does fit to the. In. <laughs> because truly, I say to you, he will gird himself and have them recline at table, mm -hmm. and will come and, and we'll serve, serve them. them. And I just I love that because because the tears on the feet serve Jesus. Mm -hmm. and he's like, Ooh, I'm about to serve you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Stealing my thunder. Oh, but you know. thunder stolen. <laughs> That's all right. Um, but, but yeah, just that the Lord is like, he's he's been away in a sense. He's uh, been, you know, it's been, many of us have been long and waiting for the promises, for mm -hmm. the words of that the Lord has spoken to our hearts to come um, and be fulfilled. And and here he is, he's like, just continue to stay alert, stay awake, because I am coming. And then when he comes, it's like, he's just like, I'm going to serve you. And this really just lines up with, we had a, um, a vision, we call it the banqueting uh, vision, because it's where there's just a whole bunch of God's people. We're just outside these double doors, and we're just waiting we're waiting for the doors to well, open. Well, and behind us is this vast desert wilderness of dunes and sand and everything, mm -hmm. you know? And it's like we're waiting. Representing our journey to get to that spot that we're standing and waiting in. You yeah. Know? And so there's just a line of us. We're waiting. And there's so many visions that we've had concerning all of that. Mm -hmm. But eventually the doors are blown open and we're carried, lifted up by the spirit and just carried into our place each of us had seats at this table it's a banqueting table name tags and everything yep and <laughs> and i just knew there was a vision i had where it was jesus himself he was the host he was the one who was throwing the party and it's basically this verse where he's like you're going to sit at the table. You're going to recline. I'll be here with you, and I'm going to come and serve you. Mm -hmm. And and so it's just like, wow, being reminded again of just yeah. like when we're alert, when we continue to wait for the Lord, he's going to find us faithful. And because of that faithfulness, he's like, I'm coming to serve you. I'm coming to just celebrate and honor what you've done. And... um. And so it's just like, I just love that. It was so encouraging. Um, and there's so many scriptures. Even last night, it was just, the whole night was just filled with just the word of God and just him coming through. So last night, we were actually um, listening to the Famous Four. It's um, a song by Taryn oh, Wells. Taryn Wells and Jen Johnson. And yeah. um, apparently it came out like, 11 months ago maybe at the beginning of this year but we never literally first time we heard it last night yeah. and it was so amazing it was because new God for us. just 
it it spoke to just right where we're at and then there was just so many scriptures the lord just went through he was talking to us about just nothing is impossible and it's like luke 137 and he went to isaiah 55 11 isaiah 66 9 so it's just talking about like his word is going to go forth and it, it's not going to come back to him void he's not going to bring you to the moment of birth and mm-hmm. not have something come forth mm-hmm. and and then ephesians 3 20 where it's like he goes above and beyond all that we could ask or imagine and then we went to Hebrews 11 and we read verses 1 through 3 and then also verse 11 Mm -hmm. and it was talking about faith and just how you know Sarah by faith that's how she received the power um, to receive the promise that the Lord had for her and we read Revelation 19 11 which is talking about how God is his name is faithful and true. A lot of 11s. And yeah, I know we had so many 11s. References. And then Revelation 3:11 where he's like I'm coming quickly. <laughs> so hold fast, which goes right back to even um, the Luke chapter 12. It's Verse it's the sense of like wow. suddenly, you know, the mm-hmm. I'm coming quickly. It's mm-hmm. not necessarily like a it's a short time so much as it's a suddenly. Like, you know, just like boom, there he boom, is. Boom, here I am. Kind of like an angelic visitation. Yeah, it's like <laughs> here you go. I'm here, just like you know, with um, with this as they're waiting for the Lord to, you know, the Master to return. They don't know the time or the hour, or the moment in which He's coming back. So mm-hmm. it's a suddenly, even if it's been a long time. And that's, oh, those are the next know, verses that I didn't read. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's you know, true. and and so it's like the words like continue to believe, continue to hold fast, and it was just really encouraging. Um, well, can I give a little backstory? Yeah. Now this is uh, I'm going to be quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's code for sit back and relax. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to advertise. You know? <laughs> but anyway, like yesterday, man, was a day where I was just crying out to the Lord. I'm just crying out and crying out, you know, because uh, yesterday was our 12 year anniversary. Yay. We've been married for 12 years. Today Crazy. is day one of year 13. It's going to be a year of love. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, but I'm crying out to the Lord about things, just time frame issues, but just like believing issues and faith issues and just like, what are we doing issues? And like, are we on the right path issues and all the, you might consider normal stuff, Mm -hmm. you know, kind of like a Hannah type of prayer. I had a Hannah kind of day yesterday and I'm just like, and I could just tell the Lord was listening and it's like, if it was scripture, it would be like this. And Devin prayed and cried out to the Lord and poured out his heart to the Lord. And this was the prayer he prayed. And then at, at evening, at about the fourth watch or whatever, <laughs> the spirit of the Lord came upon Michelle, the prophetess, and she prophesied all these verses that you, she just read. I mean, it was just coming like a, oh, yeah. it was like arrows. And I mean, it was hitting my heart. Like this is the second time that's happened mm-hmm. uh, in the last uh, couple of weeks. And it was just hitting me with like life, just like, oh my gosh, yes. It was almost like clear. <clears throat> it's yeah. like life, come on, believe. Have faith for the impossible. My word will not return void. I'm gonna do exceedingly abundantly. And I was just like, yes. It was like mm-hmm. a rain of scriptures. So that's kind of like it's really cool because you were getting all this, mm-hmm. not really knowing all the stuff I had prayed that day. No. You know, so it's yeah. like, that's the Lord, man. He, you cry out and the Lord just delivers you. And, and however, which way he does it, he does it. Yeah. You know? That yes. was relatively quick. It was. Come on, pat me on the back right quick. Other side, other side. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so it was just really awesome because I think we were both feeling it um, Mm. yesterday. Well, because we were kind of hoping for something really spectacular and magical to happen on our anniversary. And it was kind of a normal day. Yeah, you know, The Lord was like, I got a plan. I was like, this was the plan? (laughs) (laughs) This was it? I was like, no, no, you don't see the you don't see the breakthrough and the deliverance happening there. Mm -hmm. It's like, come on, see it my way. Yeah, exactly. That's another video. And um, so it was just really awesome to have the 
our God time where it was just, he just brought so much encouragement and it's just like, yeah, just continue to believe, continue to see yeah. um, that I am moving. And so continue last night I also, um, I had this picture of... Oh, back to this, the wedding banquet. Yeah, yes. back to the wedding banquet. And it was just, I had this picture of this giant i mean it was huge i mean it wasn't a normal sized turkey but it was it was, it was big massive. and um and i could just tell it was all decorated it had like you know like the berries and like mm -hmm. greenery kind of i mean it was beautiful greenery. and it was like i love it <laughs> golden brown and i could just tell like it was ready like perfectly baked it was right? yeah it was just ready and it, I, it wasn't on the table yet, but it was like, it's ready to go to the table kind of thing. And it was just like... So the Lord gave me a picture of the kitchen with the spicy thingy. Uh -huh. Oh, I just got that. <laughs> and so I'm just like, <laughs> all right, Lord, you know, we, we continue to believe. We continue to wait mm -hmm. um, because his timing is perfect. This Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, and it was crazy because I was like, I want to just find a picture that kind of matches, like, you know, what I was seeing to, you know, just hopefully kind of say, like, this is this is what it is. And so and this is what it looks like right I, here. There it is. I found this picture and it said it says like biblical Christmas yeah feast on on the thing and i was like what of all the pictures because there's so many pictures you know on so images yeah. and it was like this is the one and obviously it was you know in my vision it was a much bigger bird but it was basically just like that where it was just all decorated and it had the the red and the green and i knew it was like the cranberries and things like that and i just knew like it's it's so it's just ready like it's ready to just go mm -hmm. out on the table um, and I just believe yeah. that the Lord's like, he is fully preparing everything and we just need to continue to believe, continue to have faith, to see the word of God come to pass. Don't in our let lives. the time frame mess you up, Devin. Yep. Don't look at the time frame. Look at me. The time frame is not called the, I mean, the Lord is the time frame. Anyway. <laughs> The time frame is not the Lord of your mm -hmm. life, is what I'm saying. It reminds me of this scripture, mm -hmm. uh, da, 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 Psalm 118, 27. We read this this past week. Uh, it says, decorate the festival with leafy boughs and bu bind the sacrifices to be offered with thick cords all over the priest's court, right up to the horns of the altar. Man, that sounds like a celebration to me. Mm -hmm. And so this is what it reminded me of. Yeah when you were getting that. I was like, oh man, the Lord is preparing a feast. He is. And I am I just excited. Believe oh, it's the more excitement. <laughs> I will take it in. I will take it in. But man, there's a cost. Yeah. <laughs> there's a price to pay for, mm -hmm. for taking in more excitement and continuing to believe and then not seeing, you know. But the Lord promises. He's like, listen, at some point you have to hold the promise in your hand. So keep that in mind. Yeah. And let the visions and the words uh depend on those depend on what the lord is speaking to you you mm -hmm. know yeah and that was something the lord brought up this week too of just an encouragement is like what have i spoken what have i shown you mm -hmm. continue to remember those things and yeah. and really i think just overall just like reminding us to it's like remember what i've said Remember yeah. what I've spoken. And be encouraged like, by be it. Be <laughs> encouraged. Let those things stand. And um, and as you continue to wait for me, and yeah. I'm just telling you, I am coming. I'm preparing a feast, and it's going to be delightful, and it's going to satisfy yeah. your hearts, and um, it will just be amazing and wonderful and good. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, I think that pretty much covers it. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> So, um, we just kind of gave you a feast of things. Yeah. <laughs> I just realized little, that. I was like, wow, we, we touched on a lot of little things that we got throughout the week. Yeah. You know, which we could have made videos on all of that stuff. We could Because there's so much story behind it, mm -hmm. you know? So I think that's really all that we have for you guys today. And we do pray that you are blessed by what the Lord has spoken and mm -hmm. um, what he just has to share. And we just, uh, you know, as we 
you know, I don't know if we're going to make a video the rest of this week, but if not, we do want to say Merry Christmas and yeah. um, just pray that you guys um, really just have, um, I don't know, just that the Lord would just cover you with his love um, mm -hmm. as we continue to go on and just yeah. that you would feel his presence and um, yes. his goodness for you in your life. All day, every day. Yes. <laughs> not on any one special day but yeah. every day yeah. so um with that yeah that's all we have for you yeah. guys um and we will see you again yep. next time Love you guys bye bye, -bye.